it's been a thousand years since I made a YouTube video. <laughs> I've even grown a beard. The beard is temporary. For those who don't know, sometimes I just like to grow them. Anyway, it has been a while since I posted here and I wanted to do a video for a long time, but um, you know, I was held back a lot by uh, thinking I needed to produce something of high quality with, uh, you know, at least maybe not different shots, but like editing and maybe effects and music. And um, I've just decided to keep that minimal or like not do it at all unless I really want to do it to show something uh, for this video at least because I was not keeping you guys up to date and I feel bad about it a bit and uh, yeah it was something in the back of my mind and I was worrying and yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update of what I've been doing because it may seem to some that I quit but I didn't I just did other things, you know, that had a higher priority for me. What are those things? Oh, let me tell you guys. It's a second channel. Yeah, I've actually been working in secret, I guess, on a second channel. Uh, let me let me tell you why I did this stuff. Okay, so basically, this was my or is my. <laughs> exploration channel right at the start of this year i published every week for like six months and i tried a lot of stuff you know and i talked about this before like videos where i show my face where i don't show my face where i use gifs where i lose drawings like all over the place just to see okay what feels right what feels right and i learned a lot from that i'm really glad i did that and Basically, I took all what I learned and put it into that second channel. The second channel, you might have guessed it if you're a really committed watcher and have seen everything. It's about the game Restitched. In the past, I've talked about this, that I, I really saw a lot of potential in this game and uh, a channel about this game. Uh, but I think I even said like, nah, I'm not going to do it. It's, it's, would I even like to be known for that game? And, you know, I reconsidered and, you know, I weigh out the pros and the cons and I'm like, no, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to do this. I see too much potential <laughs> in this. And I think it would be cool to be known for that game, actually. So, yeah, it's just, here's the thing. So this channel was all over the place, like I said. I wanted to experiment with niching down, you know, how it works. Which is funny because the second channel now is like the complete opposite of this channel because it's so niche that I'm talking about something that doesn't even exist yet, right? <laughs> because this game is not out yet and there is no competition. That is one of the things I really like about this channel. Since there is no competition, it doesn't really matter what I create or how well I create it. It's just like okay i'm gonna create this and if people don't watch it like where else are they gonna go like or like it's i'm the only one providing this content it's like it's it's awesome and i can do whatever i want and yeah that's number one thing i like another thing i like is i don't show my face and i deliberately chose that for this channel because i figured with this channel with a lot of experimenting that i just liked creating videos where i didn't need to show my face you know because there was always a tiny resistance of like ah oh, the lighting isn't good because you see there's a shadow here now oh horrible and what is this this light oh horrible horrible and also oh i need to shave and see these are the exact reasons why i delayed creating this video so much and I gave up. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it. I'm doing it anyway. Bad lighting, bad, bad, you know, not shaved and stuff like that. I'm going to create this video anyway because I feel like I need to create this video to close this loop, right? I felt like this was still, you know, not closed yet. And I was like, ah, I feel bad for, and oh, 
here's the thing that made it worse. <laughs> So I decided to work on this second channel. It's called Plush Piney, by the way, if I didn't mention that yet. And like a couple of weeks in, suddenly one of my videos decides to blow up and I get like 50 more subscribers or something like that. I didn't know the exact number, but it was a lot. And I was like, guys, I, 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 I abandoned this channel a bit, or like abandoned is a big word. I'll talk more about that in a bit, but I put this channel on pause and now this video decides to blow up, you know, and it, it's not, I mean, random. I know exactly why it blew up because the vid in the video, I talk about a creator and that creator happened to publish two very successful videos on the same day and the algorithm decided, Hey, or it knew that like it, the, the people who watch this video also watch this video. And you know, I can see that in the analytics. I saw a lot of people from those two new videos coming to my video. And that's awesome. But also I was like, oh no, I, I paused this channel and now I have all these expectations from these new subscribers. And that's why I was overthinking this update video, right? And I was just afraid to, you know, lose subscribers. But I decided like, I mean, I already knew this, but it took a while to get to terms to it. But it's like, yeah, if you don't, if you don't like it that I do a crappy video like this, you, you can leave, uh, it's okay. <laughs> and you know, a couple of subscribers is nothing for the plans I have, right? So about that. I have not abandoned this channel. I still plan to do stuff with this, but uh, you know, I'm thinking very long term, right? I'm thinking like, oh, I will do something with this channel, but in like a year or two, <laughs> because right now I want to focus on the restitched channel called Plush Piney, because it's, I basically took everything I learned from this channel, all the things I didn't like, all the things I did like, and I made my perfect channel and yeah, it, I, I really, it really maybe shows too, but it feels good to me. It's like, I recall like a period where I did a couple of videos every week for that channel. And I was like, okay, you, you just create a new uh, video. You don't need to create another one, but I did create another one because it's just so naturally motivating for me. I create this perfect recipe. Like one of my mentors basically says like, you need to diverge first and then converge. And that's what I did here. I diverged with this channel and then I was like, okay, I know the space now. I know the type of videos I like. I like how I know how much scripting, how much visuals, how much music and stuff like that. And then I converged really converse because you know there's no competition in this channel i'm making right now and it's like it's so fun uh, and also it's i get a lot of support and i'm only two or three months in and it's already the views are better than this channel <laughs> or like every video has at least a hundred views which i can't say for this channel like the views are a bit all over the place, which makes sense because my topics are all over the place. Anyway, um, what else am I busy with? So that was it for the YouTube update, I want to say. But uh, what I'm busy with is I'm learning to draw, which you might have noticed. Um, I also did a couple of videos for that on this channel. I don't think I'm going to continue those, unfortunately, if you like those, because it's too much pressure on me. <laughs> to learn about art and then also cre create videos talking about the learning process. That's just too much for me. Although I will, I will tell you a bit now about it. Okay. To, to hopefully you forgive me or something as a compensation. Anyway, you know, Ruben is crazy. And also this week I uh, actually committed to the task of reading three books about art simultaneously. <laughs> yes, that's right. I am really good or uh, really good at maybe saying too much, but I'm pretty good at like sprints. Like if I have like a high intensity goal, that's only like one week long. It's like, I can do that. 
usually. If I spread it over a month, it's like, ah, no, this is too much and I quit, usually. So yeah, anyway, I want to talk about the three books I'm reading a bit. So I have them here. <laughs> First one, Drawing with Children. <gasps> Isn't that a book for children? Maybe, but it's interesting. Um, someone recommended it to me, so I did. And look, I'm already pretty far in. Okay, not that far, but uh, I will finish it this week, don't worry. So basically this talks about uh, how children learn about, you know, no, how children, yeah, how children develop their art style and when they quit, which is like around 10, 11 years old. And it explains why that is. And it's, you know, it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's one problem I have with reading books and this is why I don't read a lot of books, but there's so much fluff in there. <laughs> like, uh, and I'll, I'll get to the second book too, that does it also a lot, but it's like, Please, I got it after a couple of sentences. Don't dedicate like four pages to this. <laughs> I, and this is something I see in a lot of media, not just books. It's like, you know, a lot of games do this where they just pat the content to stretch it out. Uh, another game I played recently, Amori, um, also did that. It's like, ah. Uh, you, you could have told this story in so much less time. Why are you padding it so much? Anyway, um, I'm still committed because even though I don't like it, it's, it's motivating. Is that weird to say? <laughs> like, uh, I guess that's something Persona taught me, but, uh, basically, yeah, I, I'm not going to get into details, but, uh, yeah, I'm reading it. Um, and uh, we'll get there. Uh, let's not talk too much about it. Um, I think the second book is more well known. It's Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. The fourth edition already. Uh, anyway, the problem also with these two books I'm just talking about is they're pretty old and they don't take into account how the world works today, really. <laughs> uh, like... This, th these two books, these others, uh, they take things way too seriously sometimes. I feel like they're like, oh, you need to have these precise art supply tools and you need to go to the art store. And it's like, you know, you don't really have to do that. Like, I feel like these books, like if you're a beginner drawer and you read this book, it's going to be very intimidating you're gonna quit i know how to motivate myself a bit so i can get past that but i feel like a lot of people who read this book will quit metry true because they give a lot of work it's like oh go to the art circle and i think one of the books even said like make friends with the clerk or something like that it's like no you don't need to do that you need just a pencil okay <laughs> oh anyway that was my rant a little um Oh yeah, Drown on the Right Side of the Brain, let's talk about it a bit. It talks about, now, you know, you have two brain sites, which apparently has been debunked. And, you know, I also don't like how this book, oh, man, why do I even read these books? I don't like them. <laughs> but I don't like how it, this book states a lot of facts that are not really facts, you know, or it states a lot of things that makes no sense. Like, uh, one of the things this, book did that I didn't really like is like um, how a lot of left-handed people are creative. I mean, it, that doesn't say anything. So it gives like a list of examples like, oh, these people were left-handed. Like maybe I, I don't recall the name, like Red Lands over it. But uh, yeah, you're like, oh, all these people are left-handed and they are creative. And like, okay, there are probably a lot of right-handed people who are creative too. It, it says nothing. Like... Unless it's like the majority or something. Like if you just, uh, this book nitpicks like examples to make their statement, you know, to, to, to solidify their statement. And I hate when people do that. And it also happens pretty often. And uh, anyway, ooh, I probably should put a time mark for this section for people who don't want to hear me rant about these books. But uh, yeah. 
I think the exercises are cool though. Wait, I also have the exercise book because you know we're going all in with this, right? Yep, this is the exercise book. Oh, you're on the right side of your brain. And uh, I found a cute little exercise. And uh, let's see if I can find it. This one, see? So basically, you had to copy a drawing upside down. And the reason for this is because you'll pay less attention to the individual parts. Like, uh, oh, this is the eye, this is the hand, these are the legs. And you just look at the lines. So you actually draw what you see. And that's another point I want to make. These are drawing books about realistic drawing, which I'm not really planning to get into, but uh, I still think it's interesting to have a, or good to have a basis on drawing, right? Who? anyway, um, last book, which, okay, finally we get to a book I actually quite like a bit more, which is Draw in 30 Days, or you can draw in 30 days. Um, this guy has a sense of humor at least. <laughs> so that's good. And he also doesn't pat things. He goes straight to the point. Yes, he repeats a lot of things, but he also says like, you know, that's so you can remember it. And I like that. Um, yeah, I don't have the exercises here with me, but basically at the beginning you draw spheres and then you draw more spheres. <laughs> and then you draw boxes and it gets more and more complicated and it's funny. So props to Mark Kistler, okay? These are the two, no, you're bad at writing books, honestly, or you're too old fashioned. I think this book came in like 2011 or 12 and the other books came before the year 2000 and maybe that's my problem. Anyway, that was the art drawing update. Maybe one more thing. Uh, see, this is more what I want to draw like, right? This like cute anime, maybe cartoony style, style a bit. That would be cool to draw like that. Uh, but yeah, I wanna get the basics down. Um, or like, yeah, I, I just think it will benefit me to be able to draw realistically or know the basics of that before I delve deeper into 2D drawing. All right? Whew. Um, let's wrap things up, okay? So, uh, yeah, there's probably not going to be a lot of videos on this channel. Um, I still have a vision for it, but I need to develop my skill, both in YouTubing, which I'm doing with the second channel and in drawing art, which I'm also doing. And one of the main reasons I'm learning art, which I also talked about this <laughs> on this channel is because I want, you know, to have like a, a 2D channel. Like, I just I like the aesthetic too much. It's, it's, it's perfect. And again, I, I, it's really, really nice to be able to record a video and not have to film yourself. You can look whatever. And all I need to do is record my voice. It's also a lot easier to cut out parts when you don't need to into, take into account the visuals, right? You just get the audio and that's it. Um, I might even get into 2D animation, but that's so far off, man. That's probably a five year plan at that point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it has to wait. I'm quite busy right now. Um, but if you wanted to follow me, I've been experimenting with Blue Sky. I've never been a Twitter guy, but uh, Recently, I found out there's a big move from Twitter to Blue Sky, and I already had an account for a year, but you know, there seems to be momentum in Blue Sky now, and you know, I want to catch a wave a bit, and I'm just, I, know, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense because I have like two followers right now, and uh, I'm more doing it for myself to document stuff, but hey, if, if you want, to know more about me and you really are a fan of me because there are apparently a couple of people who are a fan of me, <laughs> then you can follow me on Blue Sky and I'll try to keep you more up to date there, which I have failed to do on this channel. All right. Um, hopefully, or like maybe not hopefully, but maybe this can be like my hop where I keep the world up to date with what I'm doing. Uh, 
there is no perfect social media that I found yet for that. Um, I have brainstormed about this. Uh, but yeah, right now Blue Sky seems like it feels, it feels okay. <laughs> it feels okay. And that's, that's a big thing for me. As you also might know, if you know me, I don't use a lot of social media, right? I am very picky and I only follow very specific sets of people and anything that doesn't align with my current goals goes in the bin, right? <laughs> I ignore it, which is also why I'm not, you know, up to date with a lot of news and memes and stuff like that. But I got friends who are helping me with that. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, if you watch till the end, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Sorry, this is not maybe a well created, designed, um, video thingy, but, uh, hey. Um, at least I wrapped up this thing and this loop is now closed and I can continue working on my art and my second channel. All right. Thank you guys. Ruben signing off.